All right, so I f***ed up. So if you guys remember, a couple videos back, I totally bashed the hell out of the fan shroud that was sitting right here. It felt really good bashing that shroud out, but there was one unintended consequence that I, yeah, I didn't think about. If you look right there, that's a hole in my radiator. My electric fan and my tensioner came in yesterday, so I was super excited to get it put in. But when I was going to get everything out and take a look at everything, I noticed coolant dripping down the front of the radiator. And at first I wasn't sure what it was, but when I looked a little bit closer, I just saw a straight stream coming down the front of the radiator. So I gotta fix this up and I don't feel like buying a brand new radiator. So I'm gonna just try and JB weld it. So the basic idea is we're gonna take out this top row fins and the bottom rows, row fins right around this. And then I'm gonna just glob the hell out of this with JB weld. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold, but I figure I might as well give it a try. And if I can make it last for a little bit longer until I can get a brand new radiator, then that's gonna be awesome. That's literally all I'm asking for right here. So this is the JB weld I picked up. It's just regular JB weld. I know there was like a specific type of like metal JB weld that I saw people using online, but this is all I could find at Lowe's. So we're just gonna give this a try. All right, so first step is gonna be removing these fins. So I'm just gonna use my needle nose pliers. Oh, goodness. You don't need to clear out a bunch of fins. You just really want to keep it as minimal as possible. This probably, this isn't going to have like any sort of huge effect on your cooling. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now I have seen a bunch of people use a different method where instead of using JB Weld, they'll literally just cut the little uh, fluid passage in half and then they'll roll it up and just kink it. So no fluid can get through. But unfortunately this is just so far to the side that I don't even think I have a chance of being able to roll it over enough to encrypt it. So I'm doing JB Weld instead. All right, so I've got a little plastic cup here that I'm gonna mix the JB Weld in. You're just gonna do a one-to-one -one mixture. Once you start mixing this, you're gonna have to work kinda, kinda quickly because it will start to set. You know, I thought I might have used even a little too much, but this looks like it might be almost about perfect. Yeah, so we got a nice gray paste there, so now we'll start applying it. I'm gonna be super liberal with it just so I can make sure that I get this hole nice and sealed. This definitely was not the best applicator choice, I'll tell you that much. All right, it's not pretty by any means, but I think I was able to stuff enough JB Weld in there to be able to seal up the hole. So now we just have to wait for this to set and fully cure. All right, so the package says we should wait a minimum of 15 hours before putting this object back into use. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we've given the JB Weld about 24 hours to cure. It's feeling nice and hard now. So now all that's left is to install the radiator back in the BMW and we'll see if this thing can hold pressure. what I was gonna say is we just filled this up for the first time we got it up to like the first level before we started um, but I almost forgot to put on the new tensioner and get the belt on so we got the new tensioner on down there and hopefully it holds up Did you hear that clunk, clunk, clunk? Is that doing that stupid ass clicky bullshit again? I think so. Boys, you can stop know. recording for now, probably. Oh, he wants me to stop recording, boys. We've hit a roadblock. The belt's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> See ya, boys. <laughs> hey, we're live, baby. You ready? Yes, sir. Gary, come home. Your shit's dead. No. Oh. Your shit's dead. It's not even clicking, though. Yeah, you're a freaking fool, dude. Turn that shit off. Got him, boys. <laughs> that one was for the boys. That one was for oh, you guys. <laughs> Got him. Let's go. It's better. Oh my god, it's not doing it anymore. <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three. Here, all right, so we're gonna go drive it around a little bit, make sure that the temps don't start going up. Let's see what it bows. Central, it's... central temperatures. <laughs> right now, it's seeming like the JB Weld might hold up. So here, let's get on it a little bit, make sure that the temps don't rise up there. I have missed. 
miss this car so much. <laughs> Shit, I might have to drive this home tonight. I don't even think I want to drive the Fiat. <laughs> Temps are staying down too. Hell yeah. We still need to see your thermostats <laughs> opening, but at least the temps are staying down. Yeah. The car definitely is sluggish. I still haven't unpacked it since the last event. Alright, dude, you gotta throw down some donuts. I'm gonna roll in the window. I right? can't do that with all this shit in the back. <laughs> fucking boys, let's fucking get it. <laughs> donuts in that parking lot right there. Right there? Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 that's what I do. I don't want to with anything like that. Let me roll the window down real quick. Huh? What's on the. I'll kick it real quick. Myself off guard there actually. I think I got it on video. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, but I really wasn't ready. You did it. I started like looking around. That was it. I need to pay more attention to the camera. That was good though. That felt nice. Temps are still down too. Like shit, we're chilling. And the heat feels even better. Yeah, it's feeling nice and toasty. I bet. We'll meet you guys back at the shop. All right, so we're back here at the garage, and we're noticing that this side is hot. But this okay. side is still just cold as shit. What's okay? So I don't here's know the thing. What's going on? As of right now, and the JB have... Weld has held together. Whether or not coolant actually ran through the radiator yet is still up for discussion. All right. Well, I'm gonna drive the car home. I'll see if the thermostat decides to open up, and then I'll give you guys all the closing stuff for this video. So I'll see you back at home. All right. I made it back home in one piece, and so did the BMW. No overheating, no new leakages or anything. Uh, coolant level is still what it was at when we left, so I'd call that a, a success. So if you have a small hole in your radiator like I did, just JB weld it. It might not be like, it's definitely not like a fix to last forever, but it can definitely get you by it until you can get a new radiator at least. But I hope this was an informative video for y'all. I hope y'all learned something. I hope y'all have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.